Hi guys, this is uh, Two E Zero DYP Wayne. Uh, just thought I'd do a very quick, basic video uh, on setting up um, your MD three eighty <coughs> two IT radio DMR radio. Uh, I just got mine a couple of days ago, and thought it'd be useful um, for people to uh, have a little tutorial of uh, basically the things I've done to set it up. <coughs> so this is. Uh, specific to uh, GB7WI, uh, our local repeater in Hull, but um, it's only the uh, <coughs> the code plug which is speci specific. Um, the rest of it could be used on any other uh, setup. <coughs> so to set up uh, my radio <coughs> for my local repeater, uh, if you go to the uh, I go to the GB7WI website <coughs> um, at the bottom you'll find TYT code plug <coughs> you'll need that to uh, update your radio with all the uh, all the uh, channels and talk groups and things like that so you download that um, and then you would uh, open up the programming software which I'll show you where I got that from uh, go to general settings put in your radio name which is your call sign and put in your DMR ID which you need to get uh, this takes one to two days to come through on an email uh, once you put in your uh, ID and your call sign then you can just click on write data to radio um, and OK, I won't do it because obviously uh, I've already got it all in. So that's all your code plugs up on your radio. You can close that down. Uh, to register for your DMR ID, you have to go to uh, dmr-mark.net. Uh, if you're in UK, Europe and Africa, you have to click on that link there and put in, fill it out basically, put your call sign in. Uh, it will ask you for um, proof of your license which you can attach as a PDF um, so the next part would be to go to this link here which is the tools uh, which has lots of extra features for your radio um, I've used the beta version so you click and download that uh, and then in your downloads you would go you'd have to unpack it, it'll be zipped and then go into the beta folder and open up the flash tool to flash the radio you need to hold the PPT key and the top key and power on and it will go into flash mode uh, then you have to download the firmware whether it's GPS or non GPS and basically click on flash and it will flash the radio uh, to download the user database which gives you all the call signs and all the information of the operators uh, you have to go to download update depending on your internet connection how quick it works um, I'm not sure if I mentioned after you flash it, you have to turn the radio off and back on again. And obviously this only works with the proper USB cable from the manufacturers. And it's as simple as flash uh, once you've downloaded. And it will put all the user databases, uh, the database on with all the information that shows up on the screen. And that's basically, in a nutshell, that's how you do it. Um, if you look on the uh, flashing website, which is this one, um, it gives you uh, all the different things that you can do with the tools, and obviously there's a there's a video there as well, um, which gets you through it. But I just thought it'd be a quick video to show you guys how to set it up from scratch. Hope it's been helpful. Uh, so this is two e zero dyp. Uh, saying 7-3 and hope uh, that was a bit of use.